Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Burns Reviews. If you're new to this channel, be sure to ring that bell and subscribe. Get videos just like this one. Today we were talking about the end of the world. No, not the one outside of your window. We're talking about Greenland. A giant meteor is heading towards Earth and it's up to Gerald Butler to get his family to a safe haven before the people and elements around him destroy him and his family. I really enjoyed this film. This movie's a lot of fun. Um, you know, Gerald uh, Butler is kind of like the new Arnold or the new Liam Neeson of action movies. You know, it's like, the movie is not great, doesn't have to be, but he has enough charisma that you can kind of go along with it that all the boring, flat characters don't really matter. If you're invested in the characters, it's all you really need. And I was pretty invested in Gerald Butler's character. Um, the plot is pretty cliche. The CGI is fair to okay at best. It's not always great. Uh, we don't really get to see a lot of the disaster that you might expect like other films. It is a smaller budget film. A lot of this movie you just follow the characters. Um, one thing that I really did enjoy is that while a movie like Commando for example might have you know the, the guy, the action hero, his wife, his kid, you might have you might just follow Arnold the entire time. In this movie you have the three of them together, they get separated, and then, you know, they come back a little bit, and it's all, it's kind of like a shell game, but you follow all the characters and go in different directions, where I feel like a lesser movie, the, the wife and kid would be given less attention, and you would just be with the action hero until maybe the third act, where it's like, hey, here's your trophy, you got to find your wife and kid. This movie is kind of like all over, in three different ways, so I really appreciated that. Um, I thought that uh, it was kind of a distraction from 2020, even though they do have people rioting in the streets. Um, there's no, there's no COVID, and uh, I, I'm good with that. They've been tracking the military flights to bunkers in Greenland. It's their only chance. You get Roy from the office. He shows up. Uh, as a very, uh, what the f kind of character, um, I guess that was the point of it, but, uh, I don't know what the point... I feel like this actor could do better than this part that he's doing, but, I don't know, I guess he just wanted to give it a shot. I just felt like his character made no sense, and that's... That's fine, that's, that's Roy for you. Um, I thought that was pretty good. Scott Glenn is in this movie, he plays, uh, the father for the, the father-in-law. And, uh, you know, he's he probably did, like, a weekend of shooting, but uh, he does add a little bit of charm to this movie. And overall, you guys, uh, I don't know what to say about this movie because it's it's got a lot of tropes. It's a lot of run from point A to point B because, you know, the movie's got a movie. we got to keep this movie going. Um, the characters kind of do things that don't always make sense, but that's kind of the trope in a lot of action movies. You need characters to do dumb stuff for the hero to overcome all of that dumb stuff. But, like I said... It's a dumb 90s, 2000 type action film. So if you like that, I think you're going to have a good time. Just turn your brain off, kick back, give it a watch. I highly enjoyed Greenland, and that's why I'm going to give it a B. Anyway, guys, what did you think of Greenland? Be sure to comment down below in the comments. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. Get videos just like this one. I have, I think, four reviews coming out this week that are coming out on Friday. So, for Friday, coming out today for Friday. Be sure to comment down below, subscribe, ring that bell, and guys, have a safe holiday. I will see you next time.